Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the Blitz games that I was playing three weeks back about. And I was playing here as Black. Uh, my opponent was over 2000 rating uh, in lead chess. I was about 1952 at that point of time. Uh, my opponent started off with e4. I respond with c6. Open goes bishop to c4. I go for d5. Uh, opponent can take here. Uh, has to actually. Otherwise, uh, the bishop is hanging. So if the bishop goes back, I could have taken. So opponent had to take here. And after I take back, bishop has to retrieve now. Uh, generally, the bishop would go back to b3 or to b5. If bishop b5, you can simply exchange uh, the strong light square bishop for black, uh, for white against your light square bishop, which is a weaker bishop uh, comparatively. So you can trade off. Uh, but here my opponent goes with bishop to b3. I went with a bishop to f5 uh, there, uh, trying to develop the bishop nice, and then I will play a pawn forward e6. Uh, develop my knight and my bishop respectively, the other knight. And you can, you can bring your queen on to d7 as well, get the rook on the uh, open c file, castle king side. That is what the majority of things should look like in an ideal game. Uh, but here, uh, after bishop there, opponent goes for uh, d4, trying to make sure that the pawns cannot be pushed further ahead. I play d6. Open plays c4, trying to break open the c file. And of course, uh, hitting the center backwards so that we both get uh, equal share in the center. I'll just turn on the stockfish as well. Uh, open in, so I thought I'll just take on the knight first so that I have this wonderful diagonal uh, from which I can give checks. So, and if I don't take that knight, uh, Open will get another defender in between. To be noticed, uh, c4 has been played, not c3. So the diagonal is weak towards the king and Open hasn't castled. So after I took, Open takes back and here comes check from the bishop uh, to b4. Open gets the bishop in between and here I go with queen to a5, doubling up on the bishop and with the thoughts of just trading off the bishop because after I take, Open takes back. And then I can take back with the queen and open will open king would be in center. And then I can simply castle on the king side and connect both my rooks. Eventually, that would be nice. Open goes for development of the knight onto uh, f3, trying to castle in the next move, maybe. So I took on the pawn first. Uh, uh, otherwise, open can advance that pawn as well, which becomes a threat later on in the game uh, because it's it's not being controlled thereafter. So Open takes back with the bishop. I play uh, a6 here so that there is no checks coming from the bishop. Uh, and even if queen comes uh, with the support of something uh, like a bishop going back. Uh, so I don't want that to happen. A check from here would be nasty. So just trying to control that. Uh, open castles now, which allows me to trade off the bishop. Open takes back with the knight. And now, of course, I cannot take. So I just develop the knight uh, in, onto f6. Uh, preparing to castle. Now, if you're already enjoying this video somehow, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon as well so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I have been putting up for almost 246 odd days now. Yeah, without without a miss. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue with this game. Uh, open plays pawn forward b4 trying to kick my queen away. And now in I took the queen on the other side of the board, uh, g5, trying to attack uh, the king, uh, still hitting the knight. With the ideas of getting my knight around and then threatening checkmate. Open plays pawn forward. I castle here. Open does take. I take back with the knight, giving a, a free pawn, but I wanted uh, to take with the knight uh, so that my knight is developed and my rooks are connected at least. Uh, open takes back the pawn, of course, which was free. Uh, and then I went with a knight to h5. Now, the best move for, uh, for as per the computer is to place the rook onto b5, hitting both the pieces where I would be trying to defend one of them, of course, the queen, leaving my knight there hanging, but it is defended. So it's not, it's not much of a trouble from there as well. Open goes with a knight to f3 there instead, hitting the queen, which was a more clearly visible kind of move rather than getting the rook backwards. This also makes sense because you're hitting the queen and you're adding a defender on the king side as well. So I played a uh, queen to g4 again, trying to pin this knight uh, against the queen so that I can exchange if required. Uh, and then I have again got plans of moving the knight to f4 and threatening checkmate here. Uh, 
and that's why I opened just moved away uh, with the knight asking me to trade off queens. Uh, and the, if I don't trade off, opponent, of course, can't take with both the pieces. So I have to move. It's not that I can defend it by placing a move like f5 so that my queen is guarded against the queen. But the knight was also attacking the queen. So I got the queen back again. And now to g5, opponent goes with knight to d7, hitting my rook. Uh, and I attack the knight backwards again by placing my rook on d8. Uh, and now pawn forward by the opponent trying to just take another pawn next and then give a check because bishop is protecting this, uh, hitting this diagonal. Also, the queen's path will be opened up. Uh, and of course, I cannot take the knight because uh, the rook defends it. So I went with uh, knight f4, uh, threatening a checkmate. So that was clearly visible, open defense, by placing the queen onto f3. Here I take the pawn because now opponent cannot take. I can take back with the knight and I'll be happy with that position as well. Uh, opponent decides to take on the other knight and I take back with the rook. Now, again, I have to be careful because I have a last rank weakness. The pawns here are pretty much packing up my king. I need to have space for that as well, just in case the rooks double up. I should not be in a hurry to uh, trade off. Uh, open please pawn forward a3. Uh, and I don't know why a3 was played in the first place because I was maybe about to take it and I still can take it. My open thought that by placing a3, open is defending it now. I cannot take. Uh, so I thought, let me take. Yep, you cannot take back because that's a checkmate in the next move. And opponent forgot the simple thing and go, went for the rook. That was a bait uh, which opponent fell for and here comes the checkmate. Now this was 2010 rated player on Lee Chess and uh, missed, the, missed the basic move. Otherwise my opponent was playing decent enough, had good attack. All his pieces were near my king side, uh, attacking my king. But uh, all it takes is one bad move and a rook uh, takes on a3 was nice from me because it hits the queen as well. And if you see after this, opponent had the best move as h4 letting his queen go so that he can take back mine uh, but that would save the checkmate at least so if the game would have continued here i can still take uh, of course opponent cannot take because knight comes as a checkmate with e2 uh, so you cannot really take and the next move again is to place pawn forward and then i would take an opponent will take back and now if you see, I have similar number of pieces, but I have more pawns, couple of extract pawns there. One of them is in the center. So I can take advantage of the fact and win it easily from there. So 5.5 ahead in the game, even if that would have happened, if my opponent wouldn't have blundered the queen, but in fact, the opponent did in this game. So yeah, uh, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback, keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.